Hey guys, what's up? It's Nelly. Welcome back to my channel. I had a completely different video planned out for today. I was going to film a haul, like a fashion haul for you guys today, but I decided to wait just because I just did one, so I wanted to kind of space it out a little bit. And instead, I have been having this really bad sweet tooth craving this week. This is my third week on keto, and as you know, when you're on keto, you cannot have sugar. So I have been looking up recipes that I can just kind of do that are easy so that I can have at home and that I can do something sweet for the days that I desperately need something sweet. But every single recipe that I found, you needed some sort of keto sweetener or some sort of specific sugar. And I don't have time to order that off Amazon because I want it now. Like I have a really bad sweet tooth. So I came across this recipe that it's kind of like a Reese's cup, like a peanut butter cup and it's only three ingredients and you do not need any keto sweetener or specific sugars. You can literally do it with ingredients that one, either you already own in your household or two, ingredients that you can find at your local grocery store. So that is what I'm going to be showing you guys today. It is Tuesday night. I need something sweet. I just took a shower, I'm ready for bed. But the only thing missing to make my day perfect it's just a little a little piece of something sweet how cute are these pajamas by the way they have super cute little cats everywhere fun fact about these pajamas they are actually my mom's but i always wear them whenever i feel a little homesick um so yeah i don't know i'm having a day i'm having a moment so yeah that is what we're going to be doing for today don't worry makeup tutorials hauls fitness vlogs all of that is going to be coming back i just kind of want to start doing more like a little bit of everything here on my channel. I'm also going to be linking the recipe in the description box so you can go ahead and do it at home. I did not come up with this recipe. I found it on Pinterest, of course, where we find everything. But yeah, let's get to it. Let me show you guys exactly what you need. Okay, so this is what you're going to need. It's only three ingredients. That's why I love it so much. And we're gonna try it because it's very easy to make. We have, um, peanut butter. I didn't realize that this peanut butter had flax seeds, but it's okay. It shouldn't be a big deal. You're also going to need some coconut oil and you're going to need 100% cacao powder. Hope I'm saying that right. And then I'll show you guys the next step. What you want to do is you want to take some of these little cupcake cups or little mini muffin cups. Their recipe calls for 16. I was able to fit 15. So you wanna have this ready because this is what we're going to be pouring in our mixture into. So just have this set to the side until the mixture is done. Alrighty, so over uh, medium heat, you're going to take half a cup of the peanut butter and half a cup of the coconut oil. You're gonna mix the two together and you're gonna mix it well in the pan. I'm starting with the coconut oil and I'm just gonna pour that in there and let it melt. Yeah, I'm gonna take the peanut butter and pour that in there as well. So once you mix in the peanut butter with the coconut oil, this is what you should have, a very creamy mixture. I'm trying to kind of shine my light so you can see. Very creamy, very delicious looking. Now we're going to take one fourth of this mixture and we're gonna put it to the side and then we're gonna mix in our cocoa powder. Alrighty, so now I am mixing in the cocoa powder with the peanut butter mixture until it's nice and mixed in. Okay, so what I am doing now is I am taking my little cupcake sheets, little muffin sheets, and I'm gonna take one spoonful of the chocolate mixture, the chocolate peanut butter mixture, and I am just going to pour that in. Just one spoon for now. We'll add as we go. So now I am going to take the peanut butter mixture, the part that we separated, and I am going to put a little bit in the center. Okay, so this is what it's supposed to look like. 
so far, I guess. It looks nothing like the picture, but I think it's the concept of it. I ran out of peanut butter, so that one just has a little bit because I over poured too much on these two. But that's okay. I'm gonna pop these in the freezer and let them freeze. Hopefully they freeze tonight because I am hungry. So I'm gonna pop these in the freezer and then I'll come back to show you guys the finished result. Okay, so I am about to give Lawrence the keto dessert I made and he's going to rate it. Okay, tell me what you think. Get a little bit of the peanut butter in the center. What do you think? It doesn't taste like much. It doesn't taste like much? Isn't it a little bitter? Very bitter. You don't like it? On a scale from one to 10. I wouldn't eat it. Oh. <laughs> it is the next day. I let the little peanut butter cups kind of freeze overnight. So I'm going to be trying some right now. This is what they look like. I did take a little piece of one that I gave to Lawrence to try, but I haven't had like a full one. So let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> so, they're kind of bitter. Like, it's good, but it's not my favorite thing. They're kind of bitter. You can definitely taste the peanut butter, but they're still a little bitter. Like they're not as sweet as I thought it was going to be. I feel like it's definitely an acquired taste. Just because the chocolate, it's really bitter, but it's pretty good. Oh, I like it. Mm. It's okay. So I do really like it. It definitely is an acquired taste. Like it's some, it's not my favorite thing. I would definitely prefer to do the Lily salted um, almond chocolate bar. One is just a little bit too bitter, but it is good and it definitely satisfied my craving. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Let me know what other keto recipes you guys might want me to try. Leave me some desserts because I'm definitely in desperate need of some keto friendly desserts. That is what I crave the most. Like I have been craving a cheesecake so bad. And I know that there's some keto cheesecakes. I just need to find the right recipe. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on Saturday. Yes, on Saturday with a brand new video. Mwah.